Hey guys, this is Reef Thews, and this is BioQ Basics, week number three, the game plan. Today's actually the 18th day the tank's been running. And before I get into week three, I'd like to do a quick review of week two, which was the cleaner crew. Now, if you watched my previous video, you would have seen that these rocks were covered with algae. The sand was covered with brown diatomaceous algae. Uh, and I really, really had to try hard and force myself to not scrub the rocks. Uh, um, I left the rocks alone and the cleaner crew did a great job. You can see the sand is primarily clear of brown diastomaceous algae. The rocks are primarily clear of green hair algae. There was some bad hair algae here and up here. Uh, I have two spots of hair algae left. You can see there's one spot there with one of the Ninja Star sails working on it in the back left corner there's no one other spot um, I also had some cyanobacteria last week and unfortunately that has actually gotten worse I have a spot there uh, red slime or cyanobacteria is actually a photosynthetic bacteria you can see it's producing some gas bubbles there uh, it will negatively affect corals uh, right there in the middle those two little round things are two uh, small leather frags that came with the rock. This rock was used in a previous tank and some of the corals were actually hitchhikers on the rock. And those two leathers have not opened up since they've been swallowed up by the cyanobacteria. Uh, and in my next video I will go over how to get rid of cyanobacteria uh, with a product called ChemiClean. Uh, what I noticed after adding the cleaner crew, uh, it seemed like the snails primarily focused on the rock work and the crabs primarily focused on the on the sand um, and it really took it really took a good full seven days to get the tank really cleaned up nice um, now on to what happens with week three the game plan now there's four things that happen this week one we want to make sure water parameters are stable and I just did a water test and the water parameters are stable and perfect I'll post the results below Two, by, you know, by the third week, we want to make sure that we're problem solving. So, you know, is our equipment working well? Is the pump working, the lights? Uh, all my equipment is working flawlessly. Uh, Coral Life's really good about that. And if you do have a problem, I know for a fact Coral Life's excellent with their customer service. And if you need a part or anything, they'll get it right to you. Um, my main problem and only problem is this red slime or cyanobacteria, which I just showed you. And we'll go over how to get rid of that in the next video. Um, the third thing is actually creating a game plan for the corals uh, specifically. So this may sound silly, but what I actually do is draw a sketch, doesn't have to be anything fancy, of the rock work, and I actually draw the corals in place. Now most nano reefs, and anything underneath 30 gallons would be considered a nano reef, uh, most people use frags, coral frags, for their reef tanks because they're less expensive and they can watch them grow which that makes a lot of sense, but I've set up numerous nano reefs and would like to do something different this time. And I'm kind of considering this tank my dream tank, so to speak. So I'm gonna focus on whole coral colonies this time and try to do something different. So my rough game plan is uh, Australian brains, scolemias, and acans in the sand. You know, these are all corals I've always wanted but never really had. Uh, kind of in the middle area of the tank, I'm going to be focusing on branching euphilias, which are like frog spawns, torches, and hammers. Those are mostly level 3 and 4 corals, which would be moderate to advanced or skilled level corals, I should say. And in the upper regions, I've already started to create what I'm going for. I've got uh, leather coral here. That's a yellow uh, Kenya tree coral. I've got two little leather frags there that came with a rock. One's an ORA green polyp, the other one's an Australian uh, leather coral. And then back here I've got an Indo crown leather which hasn't opened up yet. So I added these corals today. Um, in the upper regions of the tank I'm going to be adding you know some polyps and some leather corals. And so the tank is slowly starting to take shape. Now when I talk about difficulty of care, we rank the corals one to five. One is bulletproof, Two is easy, three is moderate, four is skilled, and five is advanced. Now for any nano reef or bio cube with stock lighting, I would never go above a level four coral and probably stay mostly from one to three. So level five corals need super high light or primarily your SPS or small polyp stony corals. 
Everything in this tank is going to be soft coral or LPS, which is large polyp stony coral. And we'll get more into that as, as the weeks pass. So, that is my game plan. I hope you have fun creating your game plan. And this is Reef Thews for Aquarium Outfitters asking you to support your local fish store. And thank you so much for watching.